Miss Everest Jest was born on August 14, 1883 in Charleston, South Carolina to Charles Fraser and Mary Matthews Jest. When Ernest was four years old, his father passed away, prompting the family to move to James Island. Ernest's early education consisted of him attending the small school which his mother founded and directed. After he turned 12, Ernest left James Island and attended Color Normal Industrial Agricultural and Mechanics College at Orangeburg. Today, it is called South Carolina State College. In 1899, at the age of 15, Ernest graduated with a licensate of instruction, which allowed him to teach any black school in South Carolina. However, Ernest wasn't interested in teaching and instead traveled north, picking up odd jobs and attended Kimball Union Academy in New Hampshire. After graduating from Kimball, with the encouragement of his friends, Ernest enrolled at Dartmouth College. It is here where his love for biology began to grow. During college, Ernest studied a variety of subjects, including biology, history, literature, and the classics. Ernest earned the reputation of a hardworking genius and graduated as a sole magna cum laude student in 1907. After graduating, Ernest got a job with the English faculty at Howard University that fall. Three years later, Ernest was asked to take over the biology department and teach psychology. Shortly thereafter, Ernest became the first head of the new Department of Biology at the college and left the English department. Ernest soon got in contact with Frank R. Lilly, who was the head of the Department of Zoology at University of Chicago. He furthered his education and graduated from the University of Chicago with a Doctor of Philosophy degree. All throughout this time, Ernest's love and interest for biology grew. After graduating, Ernest returned to Woods Hole at Howard University as an independent researcher. It was during this time that Ernest focused his interest on marine invertebrate eggs and stimulated an ocean environment in his laboratory. He soon published his first paper entitled The Relation of the First Cleavage Plane to the Entrance Point of the Sperm in the Biological Bulletin. In this paper, Ernest argued that the sperm had an equal chance of entering an egg anywhere on the egg surface, and that the direction of cleavage depended on the entry point of the sperm, not a predetermined cleavage plane. Throughout the rest of his life, Ernest published a copious amount of papers with his discoveries about the fundamental role the surface of a cell played in the development of organisms. In 1915, he was awarded NAACP's first Sping Arn Medal for astounding achievement by a black American. Ernest also served as the editor for three different periodicals and co-authored the 1924 publication entitled General Cytology with many other respected scientists from Princeton University, the University of Chicago, the National Academy of Sciences, and the Marine Biological Laboratory. Ernest Everest Jess was well respected among his colleagues and fellow scientists in his field. He died at the age of 58 in Washington, D.C. due to pancreatic cancer and is buried at the Lincoln Memorial Cemetery in Maryland. I hope that you enjoyed this video about Ernest Everett Just, a pioneering scientist. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.